A pleasant day to everyone, to our dear teacher, and to my fellow classmates. I am going to discuss my research proposal entitled for Internet Connection impact to the academic performance of BS Ed second year. Background of the study. Communication with our loved ones who were miles away from us was never easy until internet came into existence. We can only send messages before through phone call or mailing. There were also times that people need to physically go to various places just to keep track to their business. But now, internet has revolutionized everything. At the present time, millennial as well as the average people can enjoy the benefits of internet connection without leaving their houses. And as the humanity entered 21st century, these changes came into our way and continues to make things more possible. We can talk to our loved ones in just one click away by using the latest gadget and newest technology that brought us. It is therefore undeniable that the technology world has invaded the lifestyle of every human being around the planet. Internet plays a vital role in education. It is no doubt that in this modern era, Everyone prefers Google for their queries, problems, or doubts. Popular search engines like Google, Yahoo, etc. are the topmost choice of people as they offer an easy and instant search to the vast amount of information in just a few seconds. It contains wealth of knowledge that can be searched at any time. The internet has introduced improvements in technology, communication, and online entertainment. Today, it has become more important as well as powerful tool in the world which is preferred by everyone. According to Joseph Johnson of 2021, an internet expert who conducted a research there were 4.66 billion active users worldwide, 59.5% of the global population of this total 92.6% or 4.32 billion assessed the internet via mobile devices. Internet is the most useful technology by modern times, which helps us not only in our daily lives but also in our professional lives. For educational purposes, it is widely used to gather information and to do research or to add the knowledge of various subjects. Everybody needs internet for, for some or other purposes. Students need internet to search for information related to exams, curriculum, results, etc. The internet has allowed students to be in constant touch with their teachers or with their classmates with the help of, of course, social media, messaging apps, and other chat forms. Parents can interact as well as communicate with teachers and school authorities about their kids' performance in the school. Interaction with the like-minded people on forums can help students to explore new ideas and enrich their knowledge. Until COVID-19 pandemic came, a major health crisis that affect the education of every student in the world. Many countries rightly decided to close schools, colleges, and universities. They believe that this is the only solution to reduce the spread of the coronavirus and to save lives. The severe short-term disruption is felt by many families around the world. Homeschooling is not only a massive shock to parents' productivity, but also to children's social life and learning. As teaching is moved online on an untested and unprecedented scale, students' assessments are also moved online. The COVID-19 pandemic has also had a severe impact on higher education as universities closed their premises and countries shut their borders in response to lockdown measures. 
Although higher education institutions were quick to replace face-to-face -face lectures with online learning, these closures affected learning and examination as well as the safety and legal status of international students in their host country, according to Solar 2020. In the age of online learning, an area of concern facing students living in rural areas and remote communities is the lack of high-speed internet to attend lectures and to conduct any form of evaluations, according to Math 2020. There were many ways that the lack of internet access can affect students' academic performance. Students without internet can't connect with teachers or classmates, do independent research, or get online homework or losing out the red plane of communication with schools and teachers. And one of the biggest problems faced by students without internet ac access at home is their inability to complete homework. Students from low-income families and minority students are often already at a disadvantage. Students from wealthier families consistently make better scores than those from lower-income families. The lack of reliable high-speed internet will make the so-called achievement wide. Achievement gap wider. Now, low-income and minority students may also have to fight against the gap between the students with internet access and those without. This new inequality is often called the digital divide and its growing problem in education. However, despite of all the benefits of the internet, it is unfortunately not accessible to many. This problem has been the main focus of this study with an objective of determining the impact of poor internet access in the academic performance of PSN second year students of Indore State University main campus. After conducting the rest pre present research, it will provide solutions that may help the students to cope up with poor internet connection and will help them excel academically. Statement of the problem. This study determines the impact of poor internet connection on academic performance of BSA second year. Moreover, it seeks to answer the following questions. How poor is internet connectivity defined in terms of locations, gadget use, and scene use? Two, what is the level of academic performance of the students? Three, is there a significant relationship between the per internet connection and academic performance of the students? Statement of hypothesis. There is a significant relationship between the poor internet connection and to the academic performance of all second-year students taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education at Mindoro State University. Scope and limitation and the limitation of the study. This study will be conducted at Mindoro State University main campus at Alcate Victoria Oriental Mindoro and covers all the BS Ed second year students of all majors like science, English, mathematics for the school year 2021-2022. This study will be limited only to assess the impact of poor internet connection access in the academic performance of BS Ed second year. Significance of the study This is significant to BS Ed students because this research may help them to find alternative solution in terms of poor internet access that could improve their academic performance in online learning. To teachers, it could help them understand fully the situation of students due to the lack of internet access and find ways that can help the students excel academically. And the curriculum planner, they will be guided in the revision, enrichment, and modification of the curriculum to meet the needs of the students. To the future researchers, they may find this material a good source of information. Thus, this study could serve as their basis. Definition of terms. The first one is achievement cap. Any significant and persistent disparity in academic performance or educational attainment between different groups of students. 
COVID-19, a disease caused by new strain of coronavirus, costans for corona, V for virus, and D for disease. This is formerly disease was referred to as the 2019 novel coronavirus or the 2019 NCO. Digital divide, the gulf between this who have ready access to computers and the internet and those who do not. Face-to-face -face lecture and instructional method where course content and learning material are taught in person to a group of students. This allows for a live interactions between a learner and an instructor. It is the most traditional type of learning instruction. Lockdown a state of isolation or restricted access instituted as a security measure. Internet, a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. Online learning, education that takes place over the internet. It is often, often referred to as e-learning among other terms. Short-term disruption. When there is disruption of an event, system, or process, it is prevented from continuing. Sea of information. Metaphorical comparison of information to see because there's so information av available these days. You can imagine that each piece of information is one drop of water. Pandemic. A disease outbreak that spreads across countries or continents. Virus, an infective agent that typically consists of nucleic acid molecule in a protein coat. It's too small to be seen by a light microscopy and is able to multiply within the living cells of a host. This is also called a virus infection. Chapter 2 Review of Related Literature and Studies of the Literature Review This chapter presents the related literature and the students reviewed by the researcher, which provide insightful ideas about the study. Through the years, changes come along our ways which really affect every one of us. Different inventions and creations that brought advantages and disadvantages in terms of living. The most usable creation that is ever made and used by the most of the people around the world is internet access. According to Gupta and Sanoki in 2002, the internet is an inseparable part of today's educational system. The academic increasingly depends on the internet for educational purposes. It was observed recently that majority of academic and research institutions provide internet service to students, teachers, and researchers, according to Kaur, 2008. Agud Ogidibe, 2012, stated that the use of the internet for learning is seen as means to improve accessibility, efficiency, and quality of learning by facilitating access to resources and services as well as remote exchanges. The internet provides an array of powerful tools that may help in transforming the present isolated teacher-centered and textbook-bound classrooms into rich, student-focused, and interactive knowledge environment, according to Jones, 2002. He also added that the internet was described as a sea of information containing texts which are not housed between library and bookshop walls and subject areas span across all fields of knowledge. Internet connectivity is a popular complaint being highlighted among the teachers and the students as the Philippines is still one of the countries in the Asia with slow internet. Wireless connectivity is another challenge as the nation has seen on television or read new reports of teachers and students going up on mountain sides or on hilltops to catch wireless signals to the use of internet, according to Averia, 2020. Adonis 2020 cited also that teachers suspected that the decrease in class size was related to poor internet connection 
as millions of students and parents struggled to familiarize themselves with new learning platforms prompted by the new coronavirus pandemic. This presents a systematic issue as students who work and live in rural communities are faced with poor internet connection as well as lack of infrastructure, according to Ryan Matt 2020. Magula 2018 added that in every school situation, particularly in higher education institutions, the academic performance of students is a sign of quality learning familiarity. Academic achievement is measured in the form of students' notable scores across their subjects, courses, and display of learning outcomes, which can be assessed through performance classroom text, assignments, outputs, and major examinations. He also added that previous studies presents that there are intellective and non-intellective factors affecting the academic achievement of students across levels. According to Rust 2019, he believed that issues of digital li literacy will prevent some students from successfully taking full advantages of online learning resources. He also added that students' digital literacy is an important factor in online distance learning because without it, the challenge in learning will be much greater. Chapter 3. Methods and Procedure Descriptive method was used in this study in gathering data about the present condition of BS Ed 2 students about the effects of poor internet connection to their academic performance at Mindoro State University main campus. Research design, a phenomenological research design, has been conducted because the study is concerned with analyzing, gathering, and presenting collected data. The focus of the study is about the experiences of BS Ed 2 to the poor internet correlation in the Philippines affecting their academic performance. Data gathering. The researcher encoded self-made questions to the most relevant online platform for making sure all the questionnaires were returned immediately from the respondents the time they received the link from the researcher via messenger while others were returned after a couple of days Agreed by the researcher, 100% of the questionnaires are successfully circulated and 100% of the questionnaires has been answered and retrieved from the respondents. And that's conclude my presentation. Thank you and God bless.